Hello and welcome to CGD Games. My name's Lee, aka CGD, and welcome back to uh, our career mode here on the Bus Simulator 21 New Stop. Uh, I have made a few changes uh, since you last saw me on uh, part one, and I'll show you what I've been up to while you guys have been away. Nothing drastic, don't worry. So what I have done is I have added a new line um, to the new area. So up to now, we've had two routes. Route 1, uh, which pretty much covered Otter Rock Dam. And then we had Route 2, uh, which covered this bottom area now, which is, uh, which is called, if I remember right, I can't quite tell what it's called. But anyway... So I've added another route which covers the whole of those two routes and I've changed route one and route two to peak, peak time coverage. Uh, so those two buses will cover the stops when it's most busy and the other three, uh, sorry, route three will cover the area full time. So all both uh, areas have full coverage all of the time and when it's busy we can carry the load of both areas and make sure that all our passengers are completely satisfied that's what she said and everybody's happy everybody gets to go to where they need to simple as that so without further ado what we will do we will jump in to our mercedes-benz citaro and go and explore route three which covers, like I said, both areas completely. Do you want to drive? Or I would maybe just check the passengers' tickets. Well, I'll tell you what'll do. I will uh, check the passengers' tickets, but there's no one there. So I'll just drive, love, if uh, that's okay with you. Sure thing. Excellent stuff. So here we are. We are more or less, well, I don't know. I think we're quite near the end of the route here. But uh, we'll go and explore. We'll see what it has to offer. Beautiful day here as well. Are all the doors closed? Yes, here we go. And I think we, she has left it kneeling. Yes, she has, because she's a, a good employee. And away we go. So I'm still absolutely, thoroughly enjoying this game. I'm having an absolute blast with it. I'm discovering its mechanics and figuring out which is the best way to do which route. Um, you know, a bit of a strategy is is needed. Here we are pulling in now to North Avenue. Quite a lot of people here. We've got a wheelchair passenger as well. Uh, so we will kneel the bus down. We'll get that ramp out as well there for our wheelchair passenger we do need some tickets going out here as well remember we are a cashless uh, service now i would like to buy some tickets please no problem sir you seem a very regimental there uh, uh, you need two so there we go off your pop squire thanks you're all right brother right i take it our wheelchair passenger is aboard my grandson played me there the we new go all directions album so we will it. shut the doors now she loves the new all directions album she tells me that every time she gets on the bus she does bless her and we've just got another vehicle are you coming round us sir can't quite make your mind up what you want to do for some reason my uh vehicle have i no ah I had not put the ramp away. My bad. My bad. Silly CGD. Right, let's take that indicator off before the game starts shouting at me. So, we've all had uh, a couple of days now with the game. If you're watching this, it's a very later date. You've had a lot longer than we have at time of recording. But let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously, like I said in the last video, part one, bugs aside... Uh, are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it a lot more than it was before we had the update? 
Because I tell you for one, I really am. I'm, I'm able now to get a lot more immersed into the world. As I said in the last video, uh, the world just feels a lot more alive now. It just feels busier. Uh, now they've had that capability of allowing more vehicles and more NPCs Thank you. Uh, roaming it's around. Hi. Hi. We got someone who needs a ticket here. Uh, we're going to have a senior ticket, one trip ticket, and a print. There we go. Off your pop. Go and take a seat, my darling. And I think that's everybody on now. There we go. And we will uh, unneal the bus, and off we go to our next stop. So I am learning slowly but surely that uh, it's not great to get round these corners any more faster than I just was then. Uh, because you do end up going across to the other side. We are, we'll pull into here. We'll kneel. And we've got a passenger asleep on the bus. We look there and we'll see it once all these... But I think she's there, actually. He's there. There you go, Squire. Wake yourself up, sir. Off you pop. Come on. You need to shift yourself before you wreck yourself. What are we waiting for? The wheelchair passenger. Right, okay. That makes sense. There we go. And once that ramp comes out, we should see there in the top right side. There he goes. There he goes. So we do need to improve uh, our efficiency on this route at the moment. It is very poor. But let's see if we can improve... What am I doing here? Uh, improve the efficiency of this route. So, first things first, we'll close the doors. We will unneal. And we'll indicate left. I'll tell you what we'll do as well. Before we set off on our merry way, let's put some tunes on. We have got a little radio. Uh, so let's play. Hopefully, in a second, some music should start playing. Are passengers listening to loud music? There's nobody on the bus, is there? You're not getting off, fella. Hey, I don't think he should be here. Turn that off, fella. I could have done that from my mirror. Right, here we go. Yes, the music is playing. So we've got our music playing now. Right, so away we go. We'll follow the route off to Anto's Lookout. We're already a minute and a half late, which is not great because we were sat at that bus stop for a while. Not to worry. Like I said, this is all an experiment, uh, going through this career mode together. Seeing how far we can progress, how much money we can make. See if we can get the whole area covered. And be as efficient as we possibly can. Without going overboard. Oh. I don't know. See, you, I've tried my best then to keep a really nice speed. But uh, it's because you drive so many different buses. We've got three different buses now here within this bus company. Um, this Mercedes, I don't mind driving. Uh, but there's a bus. I think it's on Route 2. Uh, I can't remember its name. Uh, we will check it out later. But it is an absolute shocker of a bus to drive. It is horrible. It was only cheap. Um... Which does explain an awful lot. Bad stopping position, and I'm too late. Well, you'll just have to deal with it, I'm afraid. So, if somebody does uh, require a ticket. Uh, you'd like a senior ticket, and you want a one-trip ticket, so there you go. Completely cashless. All the mod cons on this bus. Let's get that door shut. There we go. And we'll unneal the bus. 
indicate that we are leaving the bus stop. That just stops. Um, well, for one, we get XP for it. And two, it does let the traffic know behind you that you are leaving. Uh, if you don't do that, you will get vehicles coming up the side of you. And cutting you up if you don't indicate. And that's when you start having accidents. So just try getting into the habit uh, of indicating when you do leave these stops. And what Now, where is the sat-nav telling me to go? I think we're going to have to do a bit of a manoeuvre here, ladies and gentlemen. For the looks of it, so the sat-nav is telling me to go the other way. So yes, we are going to have to perform a bit of a manoeuvre. To get us back on the right track. Without smashing into a lamppost. There we go. So we are going to end up... We've got two and a half minutes... To get to Lakeview Terrace now. So back through the tunnels. I really need... Because it's on a ping pong... Uh, route now. Uh, so it means we, we once we finish a route... We go back the opposite way. So we don't go back to the start. So that's why I've, uh, I should have figured out to turn round. Maybe need to adjust this route slightly uh, so we can get to somewhere safe to turn around. But to be fair, the stop is just there. We've just passed it. And we only have to go through one tunnel to get down there where we can turn around quite safely. But it's not too bad. One of our buses there, that will be uh, Route 1. That covers the Otters... The Otter Bank... Area. So we do cover both areas now. In this first two-thirds of the new area. With our buses. So not only have I been uh, doing this career mode for you guys here on YouTube, um, I've carried on my save on the Xbox from my previous career, which is now the story mode. But remember guys, there are different modes here now on Next Stop. Your old career mode that you would have been playing before the update is now called story mode. So that's where you can do all the mission type events um, and things like that. And then the actual career mode on this is completely opened up to you. That's where all the buses are open to you. Uh, all the air, all the map is open to you. And you can really use it a bit like a toy box to experiment with the map. And uh, really learn the game. Right, so here we are. At Lakeview Terrace, a little bit early, which is a good thing, and we can... Uh, oh, hang on, is this going to Regetta and Jetty? I, I don't think it is, you know. Bye -bye. Uh, I, was, I answered that correctly, she's off. So we do need to upgrade this, so there we go. Lakeview Terrace. Got a bit of a loading time here, this is a, a slight issue. Uh, since the update, it doesn't take too long, there we go. Right, so let's close the doors. And, uh, be on our way check the mirrors like I said I did put my indicator on so no one should have been overtaking us now this area here uh, going onto loggers lane and roundabout onto north avenue I do find a bit of a tight squeeze so you do have to take it easy not rush it and I get off I often get complaints from the passengers about being a bit too far away, they are see bad stopping position. I really need to uh, improve that. One trip ticket print. There you go. On your pop, you would like a ticket as well. You would like a senior ticket. You don't need a senior ticket, madam. Not a day over to anyone. And I need glasses. Okay, no problem. Uh, what should you do? One trip ticket. And you would like two of those. So I'll press that. There you go. Thanks. There you are, no problem. Right, let's get those doors shut. Unneal. 
indicate, let's not forget. And we are taking a left here. I heard that nice and slow. Looks like we are going to mount the curb here. Unless I don't want to do that. So we'll back it up a touch. Get her on full lock and swing around again. So uh, we don't mount the curb. And lose any points. We'll take it on right. But remember, I did say it is a real, real tight squeeze round here. You have to take it easy. Judge your turns correctly. Otherwise, you will be uh, be having points taken off you. Let's see if we can pull up to this bus stop in a nice position. I do love it how they wave at you to uh, let you know that you they want to get on the bus. There we are, got uh, good stop position, good timing. Uh, so like a senior ticket, and you're like a day ticket, and print, there you go, off you pop, go and take a seat, enjoy your journey. Student ticket, day ticket, print, there we go, we're getting into the swing of things now. No problem, one trip ticket, print, there you go, off you pop, take a seat, thank you very much for riding CG Detours. Right, let's get ourselves out of that, let's close the doors, unneal. And uh, get the indicate on the go. We are on our way. It looks like we're taking a left here. We'll have a nice indication there, letting everybody know. We are heading that way with a stop just down here on our right hand side. Bridge, uh, bridge watch view. That's so tight round here. Now uh, we've got a stop already. There we go. Beautifully done. Fantastic. Uh, all aboard. Come on, everybody. We ain't got all day. We're already running a little bit late. Oh, do you know? Somebody's forgotten a valuable item. Let's just have a quick look up and down. I can't see anything. I haven't really got time for this, you know. You need to be taking care of your valuables when entering the bus. Um... I haven't really got time to be looking for these objects unless this fella here. Hang on a minute. There we go. We found it. Right, let's go. Uh, let's close the doors. Unneal. Indicate. And off we pop. Away we go. We are late according to the schedule. Not by too much now. Only uh, seconds late. Hopefully we can uh, bring that back in line. Correct use of the indicator there. So these videos are seem to be quite popular still on the channel. People are uh, enjoying these career modes. Well, when I say career modes, I've only done one for the time being, but it has done quite well. But if you do like the content here on CGD Games, don't forget to give it a like. It really, really does help the channel in more ways than you can imagine. Cooking Simulator has downloaded there, ready for my next live stream on Saturday. So as I was saying, with the likes, um, if you hit that like button, it really does... Uh, oh no, we're not stopping here. We're not stopping. Uh, it really does help the channel in more ways than you know. I've said that about three times now. Um, the way it works is, you hit that like button, it means you like the video. The more and more people that like that video, YouTube thinks, hang on a minute, people are really liking this guy's content. Let's push it out into the algorithm even more. Which means more people will find the channel, more people will like the content, more people will subscribe. That means we get to 1,000 subscribers quicker. That means we can start unlocking some great stuff onto the channel to make this make streams and the videos a lot more interactive and make it a more fun place to be. So, um, yeah, hit that like button. It really is important. And if you would like to consider hitting the subscribe button as well, that really does help as well. Right. So that's everybody off there. We will crack on to our next stop, which is uh, Otter's Burrow. So I forgot there we should have serviced that bus stop. Uh, but I completely missed that notification because I was too busy 
wittering on to you guys about liking and subscribing and all that nonsense. So we'll have a quick drive down here. The passengers fallen asleep on the bus as well, so we'll we'll wait them up at our next stop when we've uh, pulled over and we are in a safe position to do so. But once again, I'm just really enjoying the the environment and the the atmosphere of of the update. It really has um, brought the map to life. It really has, and I just I just enjoy driving around it. Like I said, it it just feels alive and feels lived in and, and vibrant. It is fantastic, and the developers have done. An amazing job, they really have, so hats off to them. What I will do as well, I will, along with the SGD, which is the Simulation Gamers Discord, which is our community's Discord, where we go to chat all things simulation, I'll also post the link for the developer's Discord as well, well, the publisher's Discord, Astrogen. Um, it's a great place to go and report bugs, chat about this game and any other games published and developed as well by Astrogen. So things like uh, Firefighter Simulator and... I can't, can't think of the other one now, uh, Construction Simulator as well, which has been on console for about 12 months now, I should say. Which is another fantastic game and I am going to be covering soon here on CGD Games. I'm just trying to figure out the best way um, to cover that game because it's not... You can't really cover it in a way that I do this where I sit down, record a journey and put it onto YouTube. With Construction Simulator, a lot of the jobs can be quite long-winded. So they will need to be edited down and put onto YouTube that way for you guys to enjoy. So say if I was to build a swimming pool, I would have to drive to the builder's yard, pick up the materials, drop them off, start part one of the construction, and then part two, I would need to go gather more materials, which means backing and forthing with the vehicles. There's a lot of driving. And sometimes they can take up to two to three hours. So I need to find a way of doing each job and ed editing it down in a way that will be understandable and entertaining for you guys to watch. So a regular ticket, a one trip ticket, and three there. There we go, oh, another ticket, no problem my dear. A senior ticket, a one trip ticket, print, there we go. Off your pop my dear, right. We are on our way now to Doris's diner I think. Yes, Doris's Diner. We are only a little bit late. We're not doing too bad at all. If I'm completely honest, we could be doing a lot worse. So the plan will eventually be, I think, for part three of our career mode here on CGD Games on Bus Simulator 21 Next Stop, um, is to extend even further into the map. And we will put a service down on the lower third of the map. Uh, now down near Giza Point and we'll make that a peak time as well and then I will probably buy a yet another bus and put oh we've got some deer crossing slow down for them and probably then put another bus full time overlapping the lower third and the middle third just like this one does as well and then we've got so much coverage throughout the area and we'll just see how it works out financially see how the buses are being filled and uh, I'll report back to you at the beginning of every stream and let you know how they've been running so all you guys have to do is join me every single time I upload one of these videos and just enjoy the ride and I will update you as my investors I will update you on um, how the business is going so I won't bore you too much with all the technical side of it and buying buses and creating routes I mean how in the world 
was I supposed to see that then? That woman, she just appeared from the left and crossed right in front of my bus. I mean, I was indicating everything. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but if anyone from the development team sees, you've got to sort that out because that's... Yes, as a bus driver, I should be checking... But that is harsh, that is. That is really harsh. So here we go down now. Bridge Point Camp. Trying to stick under the speed limit. We've got somebody stopping. Oh, it's not somebody who would like to stop. So this is stop 11 of around about 24 or 25. If I remember rightly. It does make for quite a lengthy route, route, this journey. But we are covering two-thirds of this large area. Oh, I've missed my turning. Oh, blimey O'Reilly CGD. Come on, get with the programme, son. We're causing chaos here on the roads. There we go. Let's turn across here. Try not to take the front end of that vehicle out there there we go well done and here's our stop there we go slide in there nicely yes we are late i know we're late on your pop sir madam i got your mask on a seat not a problem right let's get these doors closed and get on our way indicator on passengers listening to loud music we'll sort them out shortly we're not far away from our next stop in fact we might get a chance here because the lights are stopping us we had a passenger actually listening to loud music and fell asleep so we got uh, Double bubble there. Right. This corner here can be slightly tricky, so we'll come outside for this. Take it nice and easy as we get round that. Beautifully done that. Might just stick to the outside views here, because it is quite a, a nicely detailed part of the map here. This little, this little town. And we are just going round the outskirts of it, but it is always nice to see where you're passing through rather than just looking at that cockpit view. Get our indicators on to turn right. One of those huge flower pots there that uh, some content creators have issues with. <laughs> Not mentioning names, eh? Oh, no. no I would have got past there then. If you want to pull forward, I'm sorry. That is just ridiculous. So these are the little bits that, you know, do they need fine tuning like AI mistakes like that? Or is that real life? People in the real world would make mistakes like that by pulling forward too far at the wrong time. And we have to anticipate these kind of things as a bus driver. This radio's quite funky in the uh, in the bus, isn't it? It's quite nice having it on. Fingers crossed YouTube uh, likes the music as well and doesn't do me for copyright, but we'll soon find out. If, the, uh, if they don't like it, this will be the last time you will ever hear this music on the channel, so... We are close to uh, levelling up as well. We'll just go into this mode in case anybody would want to tick it. No. Not a problem. Get the old indicators on, and away we go again. Fantastic. So that was stop 12 and stop 18. That is, on the way back. Okay, so stop 18 on another route, should I say. Yes. There's some speed bumps here. Make sure you go over these nice and steady. The passengers do not like it when you go over them at speed. 
There we go. So I think what we will start doing as well at some point or other is mixing some of these routes up with the old map. Um, bringing people in from further afield into these new areas. Because uh, it's quite a nice touristy area. That, you know, there's lots of activities to do here in the new area. So people from further afield can come and enjoy these beautiful views. These uh, little quirky restaurants and coffee shops. Or even go hiking or camping. There are loads of opportunities for that. So here we go. We've got to get round here now. Round Tintin's Flower Pot. Oh, and I said I wouldn't mention names. So let's take this nice and steady. We are after break, I think, and reverse back a touch. Please don't pull forward. Please don't pull forward. There we go. That is such an awkward corner, that is. It really is awkward. As we take ourselves down here. The, 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 these routes aren't very, very, very fast routes at all. You, you do need to be patient. Um, this view does you a lot more service than the cab view. It is very, very tricky from the cab view. Especially around this built-up area here. As you can see now. We're going to struggle, so we're going to have to... Just go back a touch, and then we can pull forward and carry on on our merry way. We've got to stop here. So if you are new to this game and you're wondering, how do you know where to stop? Well, it's really easy, and I'll, I'll show you a way now. Once we leave here, well, this stop's ready for an upgrade. There we go if you are new and you say you're playing the story mode now and you go through the tutorial oh i do apologize uh, there we go and you play the tutorial and you're wondering how do i stop where do i stop come on we're in a rush there you go fantastic how do you know where to stop right i will show you so it's quite plain quite simple once you know how We'll shut the doors. So as you can see there now, on the lower th on the lower uh, mini map, we have the red lines going left, right, backwards, and forwards. So once I, my arrow in that map leaves this area, the moving line comes back on again. Okay. So keep your eye on that red moving line. We're now heading to Daniel's view. Let me just get ourselves around here. Nicely done, CGD. And just keep your eye on that red line as we approach Daniel's view, which is stop 14. Right, so it's continuing on for a while until we get to that stop. It will keep showing us where to go. So for one, we've just gone past the stop there and it doesn't show on our route. So we know we don't stop there. But if you're still unsure, because sometimes stops will show, possibly on a return uh, ping pong visit, you might not want to stop there or need to stop there. And we'll just keep going a bit further up. We are running extremely late now. Once we get to four minutes late, the service does become uh, out of hours. Which is a, a really strange thing to do. I mean, buses in my local area can be 5, 10, 15 minutes late at times. And it doesn't become an out-of-service or out-of-hours bus. It stays the same. But I don't understand why that is a decision that they made uh, while developing the game. Why it does that, I don't know. Or how it punishes you with XP or money. I really don't know. Right, so here we go. So as you can see there in the mini-map, we've got the stop coming up, the arrow's going towards it, but the arrows aren't coming out the other side of the map. If we weren't supposed to stop at this map, the arrows would continue through the stop on the mini-map. And because they don't, and they actually stop at the stop, that means we stop here. And that's how you know where to stop. 
simple as that, you see. I think these guys here um, are going to want a ticket. Yep. We just need to keep an eye on that wheelchair passenger as well. Uh, one trip ticket. Print. There you go. Is that everybody? Where's our wheelchair passenger now? They're still sat there. They're still uh, staying with us for the time being. Doors are shut. Let's kneel. So now your bus was converted to an out-of-hours drive because you were too late according to schedule. See, that, that kind of annoys me now. So if you spin round to the front of the bus, he's turned into special trip rather than showing where our next stop is. That's the only thing that's really bugging me at the moment, and I think it's just a silly decision to do so. So we'll keep plugging on, though. As we carry on with our journey, servicing this route, bringing a great value, comfortable, affordable service to the local area. So as you see, another stop coming up now. Check out the arrows on the mini-map. They are not going through the stop. They are stopping at the stop, so that means we stop there. So a nice little easy tip there for you if you are struggling. Uh, with the stop situation. I did uh, get a little bit confused by it at the beginning. Let's just make sure our wheelchair passenger is staying on. Anybody needs a ticket? Yeah, we've got a young man there needs a ticket. He wants a regular ticket. A one-trip ticket, and he wants three of them. Well, thank you very much for your custom, young man. All right, so let's get the door shut. Unneal. Get the indicators on. And away we go. And to our next stop. Back. Oh, no. Now, let's see. This is the tricky part. We need to turn around. Um, right. So, what we're going to do. Bit of a manoeuvre into that gap there. Fingers crossed. Bit tricky. Concentration time now for CGD. We really need to change this on the route planner um, and get it turning round. So there we go. We pretty much have ping ponged it now, I think. Surely we don't need to stop that. I'm not doing. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to pull over here at the side of the road. In fact, no, what I will do, I'll continue. I will continue to the next stop. That's the professional thing to do. I shouldn't have said that'll be it. But yeah, it just does carry on now. We've uh, we've covered pretty much all of the route. And I will update you um, how we've done financially or how we are getting on financially on our career here in the new area on Bus Simulator 21 and um, on the next video which is episode 3 already blimey we're flying through these already aren't we there we go as we pull in I will bid you lovely people farewell harsh breaking I do apologise but I'm getting all the bad marks now aren't I I'm getting all the bad marks, but thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. And it, please consider subscribing as well and hitting that notification bell so you are notified every time I go live or new content lands on the channel. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.